Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. I got the banjo out and we're gonna do an old classic, but we're gonna do a beginner version of it for you. I've got a, a more intermediate version of it out there with an A and B part, but we're gonna do a beginner version. And this is fun for everybody, so check this out. I've got two little versions of it here for you. Um, we're gonna do Shady Grove. Now, I have tabs for this available over at the website. Um, I also have for my yearly folks, the TEF files, the full file for it. So you can speed it up, slow it down. You can isolate sections of that tab. It's a really cool feature and um, it's gonna be on all new lessons videos, the TEF files. So check that out at banjolemonade.com if you're interested in all that. If not, let's just get into this. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna move the camera so you can see it, but what we need to do first is tune up the um, second string. We tune that up from a B to a C. And this gives us that sawmill or G modal tuning. It's real pretty. Okay, let me move this camera and we'll get into it. All right, I'm gonna play through it here slowly and I want you to really watch my left hand and see how much, or should I say how little movement there is, really. Here we go. stayed right there. There's one chord in this and it's an F chord but our F chord is a lot easier now that we're in sawmill tuning because we've tuned up our second string. We've tuned it up from a B to a C. Okay so what that does is it just allows us to remove that finger from our F chord. So our regular F chord looks like this if we just take that finger off. Now we have our F in our sawmill tuning. Okay but you can play it like this or you know or the other way either way but um you can embellish the crud out of it you can add extra parts to it part I like a, I like adding uh, doing the A and doing the B but in our most basic version we just strip all those embellishments out and play the melody and it's beautiful okay so let's say we want to play with uh, just one finger on our fretting hand you can do that pretty easily if you use your marker dots Okay, so watch this. We've got our G note, which is our third string open. Well, here's a G note right here. Okay, so, so listen to this. So I just played the whole melody, just doing regular... regular claw hammer strokes and single notes over here and using my third, fifth, seventh, tenth, twelfth, and fifteenth frets just to find the notes. See, so just right there, that is two really simple ways to play this wonderful song. your drop thumbing there's just all th kinds of things you can do to where your drop thumbing is not quite as boring um where you're just sitting here let me get some uh, close-ups now for you third string so we did the third string twice and two claw hammer strokes there right so bum second fret third string open third string our chord and we're hitting that fourth string 
there and then a stroke, okay? So let's do that again. All right, a little faster. Okay, next is this. So next is open third string, third string, second fret, open second string, second string, second fret. And you do that twice, so I'll do that again. And your single note there is at the second fret of the second string, right? Now we're doing third fret. First string. So first is third fret, first string. Then open first string, okay? Claw hammer strokes. Second string, open. Third string, we're going back into that chord. Third string, second fret. Do that again. So then it sounds like this. There's my little turnaround. So yeah, open third string. Second fret. And then third fret of the fourth string. Open third string. Then fourth string open, and then fourth string third fret. Okay, play through it again slowly. Here we go. to the beginning again. All right, there you go. So as you can see, it's a fun song to play, regardless what level you're at. And after you learn this melody as a beginner, then you can start adding things to it, you know? Um, all the hammer-ons and pull-offs. Then, of course, I like to remove the brushes and do my thumb whaps and do some double thumbing. Um, you can do all sorts of things. You can run it up and down that first string if you want to, say, practice your double or drop thumbing. See, that was just... Um, me doing double thumb. So if you want to practice your double thumbing, you can do that. Um, you can practice your drop thumb. You can just do so much with any song. But that was the beginner level of Shady Grove. Again, I have tabs and all sorts of extra stuff over at the website on this. I just wanted to give you an example here of what you can expect uh, in my lessons over at the website. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, got something out of it. And before I go, I always want to remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.